until the brighter days. It don't rise or is a revolution. Soon there will no longer be pollution. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and hello from the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Today is 3rd of April and I'm starting my Andaman vlog. This vlog is going to be coming in 3 parts. I'm going to be covering 3 days in 1, 1 day in 1 and then 3 days again in 1. We are here for 7 days that is from seven, that is from 3rd to 3rd April to 10th April and we are going to be uh, going Havelock, Neil, Baratang and a lot of other islands and I'm sure this is going to be a beautiful beautiful vlog so make sure you stay tuned. I'm also simultaneously uploading a lot of shots stories sports so make sure you go check them out the plan for today is that we are going to Chiriya Tapu to check out the sunset and then after that we are going for the light and sound show to cellular jail you already saw that we boarded a flight from Delhi uh, to Port Blair and it was it was a connecting flight from Calcutta and uh, then after we came and entered Port Blair we checked into the property called Harriet View this is going to be the stay for one day because tomorrow morning we are leaving for Havelock Island uh, and there we will be for like two days so make sure you uh, stay tuned and right now i'm all ready as you can see and um, yeah we're gonna be leaving so let's go The first spot we visited was Chiriya Tapu. This place lies at a distance of 25 to 28 kilometers from Port Blair, so make sure you keep this in mind because reaching there will take around 30 to 35 minutes or even more. This place is basically famous for its beautiful sunsets and this is the most famous sunset point in Port Blair. Uh, this place is also famous for bird watching as the name suggests especially in the peak seasons and it also showcases some beautiful mangrove forests so it is a beautiful mixture of a beach and forest if you go inside you can even find trekking trails and use this place as a beautiful picnic spot as well so make sure you visit this place for the best sunset in Port Blair Done with Chidiya Tapu and done with first sunset of Port Blair, which was beautiful. This place looks literally surreal right now. Like, look at, look at that. Now we're going to cellular jail. Let's go. Stopped at this Nest Cafe for a Maggie coffee break, and then we'll go to the cellular jail. Here it's almost 6 and the, it's like pitch dark so but the sky is very clear and you can see the moon very clearly so it's very beautiful. Cellular jail wale. <laughs> we are at cellular jail. It's 7.50 pe show show. We don't have to do anything. Swings to it. About the weather, it's 30 degrees somewhat. It's pleasant evening. Mein. Uh, restaurant. Annapurna to nahi ja rahe Anju ko koi You can have your soon see food out there. Of course, the most famous attraction of Port Blair is the Cellular Jail, also known as the Kala Pani. The Cellular Jail was a British colonial prison in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands and the prison was used by the Government of India for the purpose of exiling criminals and political prisoners and these included some very famous independent activists like Vinayak Damodar Savarkar and Batukeshwar Dutt. The political prisoners were kept here because they had no means of running away. The architecture was built in a way that there was a tower in the center which joined seven wings and this was a way for all the jailers to keep a strict eye on the prisoners. To 
watch this light and sound show at cellular jail you need to book your tickets online and each ticket costs rupees 30 per person but this is a must watch show when in port blair toxic trees now worth the wait hey We got done from the uh, light and sound show at Cellular Jail, and it was amazing. You should definitely come here if you are like visit there if you are coming here. Anyway, right now it's eight, and one thing to keep in mind in Andamans is that everything closes by like nine or ten. So right now we're just gonna go. Uh, the hotel is right in front of me. I'm just we're just gonna go freshen up and then head out for dinner. Not heading anywhere very far. Like um, from here, if you walk, there's that. Hotel right there, Havis, which we are seeing for dinner, if it has it, and otherwise we'll go Hello. to our own Hello. hotel. The next morning, that is on day two, we left for Havelock Island, and in order to reach Havelock Island, you need to take a ferry from Port Blair. Now there are three main ferries that usually work there. The first one is Nautica, second one is Macruz, third is Green Ocean. You can go and check and book them online. We took the ferry from Hado Jetty and the ferry that we took from Port Blair to Havelock was Nautica and this is what our ferry looked like. It was a very very comfortable ride and a very beautiful ride because obviously you're surrounded with water and you and as you travel you can see different colored patches of water. So I must say the journey was pretty smooth and comfortable. Havelock Island. So we have checked into our resort, which is the Silver Sand Village Resort. I forgot to uh, tell you earlier, but again, all the details of the ferries and everything will be in the description box below. We have planned this whole trip on our own, so all of it will be in the description in case you want uh, to know about it. So today at Havelock, we um, took a uh, ferry from Port Blair to Havelock, and now we have checked into the our hotel. It's almost 11, 11:30 right now, so it's not that late. And right now we are a little hungry, so we are figuring out the eating situation. Yesterday we didn't go to any restaurant; we just ended up eating in our own um, hotel, and then we slept. We literally dozed off because today morning also we had to wake up quite early. But right now we are figuring out some uh, food situation, and after that we are going to be hiring scooties to go to Radhanagar Beach for the sunset. And Vapsi me, I think we'll be. figuring out and also exploring a few cafes and stuff tomorrow morning um there's a uh, scuba happening i'm not doing scuba uh bad news but yeah anyways we can't do anything about that and uh, i think tomorrow we are going to do some sort of an activity for sure because havelock is like really famous for the water activities the water here has turned from blue to like literally green emerald turquoise it's a very beautiful color it's very very clean um and also the whole city the port blair and each and every island is so clean you will never you will never even see like one like even a bit of garbage lying here and there so the cleanliness is great here this resort is also very beautiful it's actually very 
aloof it's actually very very hutke from the city uh, from the main attractions so it's literally inside a village and we're surrounded with jungle all around there's nothing like in the vicinity so we'll have to travel a lot but yeah that's the plan for today we'll just eat rest and then go to the radhanagar for the sunset we are ready for the day we literally wasted six and a half hours in the resort and um, we are just now going to catch the sunset at radhanagar beach and we are still like tomorrow we have like a whole day at havelock so we'll be doing stuff and um, yeah just very harsh sunlight let's go it's now worth the wait hey wake up and realize i was this is actually the whole view that silver sand village gives you and that right there is the pool area where like live music and stuff happens so yeah so much time i pick the pieces even though One of the most beautiful beaches in Andaman and Nicobar Islands is the Radhanagar Beach. The Radhanagar Beach is known as one of the most beautiful beaches in Asia. It attracts huge tourism due to its awe-striking beauty and is also titled as the seventh most beautiful beach in the world. It is a treat to watch both during sunset and sunrise. We went here during the sunset and it was the most beautiful sunset that I saw. on my entire trip the beach is a bit crowded but as you walk towards the other parts then uh, you can find yourself a non crowded spot and you are covered by really beautiful looking forests and as you walk out of the beach you can even find yourself some food stalls and coconut water stalls to drink and enjoy this beautiful view so make sure you visit this place because it is going to mesmerize you and leave you in awe for sure The next morning we woke up at 4:30 a.m. to catch the sunrise at Havelock Island and the most beautiful sunrise at Havelock Island happens at the Kala Patthar beach. The Kala Patthar beach is a long stretch of beach and you usually see it when you travel through car in the Havelock Island and this beach literally has turquoise green blue colored water and is super super clear and it's a beautiful place if you want to catch the sunrise and also go ahead to have some beautiful photography you can carry your speaker there sit down and drink on some coconut water and you are going to love it Today is the third day of this Andaman trip, and this is also the last day of this part of the vlog. So other parts of the vlog will be coming soon. Um, but today is the third day, and yesterday we went to Radhanagar Beach for sunset. Today morning, in the morning at around 4:30 a.m., we woke up and went to the Kala Patthar Beach for sun for sunrise, which was beautiful. By the way, it was really just mesmerizing as you saw. And then we came back, slept, and then had our breakfast. and right now we are heading sorry today we are sorry. going to so just so today we are going to uh, elephant beach we are taking a ferry or we are going to trek we don't know i don't think we are going to trek but we are going to take a ferry and uh, spend the afternoon there some water activities because like that beach is like really famous for water activities 
and then um, evening we'll come back to like Radhanagar and we'll see what we'll be doing. The next destination we went to was Elephant Beach and this is the most famous beach for water activities. This is a very very small stretch of uh, beach and it is extremely crowded because it is a commercialized beach. To reach there you need to take a speedboat or a ferry from Havelock Island and you need to select your rides uh, prior to when you go there. You also have like complimentary snorkeling along with your ferry tickets and um, yeah this was a very very crowded beach as per my opinion we came back to Havelock Island and went to a cafe for lunch the three main cafes that I shortlisted were Bonova, Something Different and Full Moon Cafe for the lunch that day we went to Something Different and trust me this is the best cafe that you can find in Havelock the ambience was amazing and also the menu was quite extensive plus if you are a seafood lover obviously Andaman is like a paradise for you and everything here was great. The beach was also on a walking distance so you can go there and enjoy the view and it was a lovely lovely lunch here. That evening we basically did nothing and came back to our resort and enjoyed the property because the property here is very very beautiful and uh, yeah at night we went to Bonova cafe for dinner but I unfortunately forgot to record according to me that is a very overrated cafe here in Havelock so if you can't cover it also do not regret and yeah at night I just ended up cutting my cake for my birthday as it was my eve and uh, that is how my day ended and this is how the part one of Andaman vlogs also end so make sure you stay, you stay tuned for part two Clapping, <laughs> 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 